I don't ever want to hear a fan say that it's okay for a fighter to take a loss. Y'all might as well kill that bull crap right now because we all know that doesn't apply for all fighters. It's it, You guys staying quiet about Philip Herkovitz getting beat up is proving my point. A month and some change ago, we saw uh, Tim Zhu get beat up and nobody talked about how he just took a loss. Nobody talked about he was a hype job. Yesterday, we we just watched Philip Herkovich just get his soul snatched out of his body by Daniel Dubois, a fighter that everybody thought that Philip Herkovich was going to be. Even Philip Herkovich himself said that he was going to go in there and smash Daniel Dubois. I don't see videos flooding this community with uh, Daniel Dubois getting his credit. I don't see videos flooding this community with Philip Herkovich being called a hype job. And you know why that's not happening? Because one, Daniel Dubois is black. He's not black American, but he's black. And Philip Herkovich is a white fighter. Most non-black fans do not care when a white fighter lose. That's not what they watch the sport for. They don't watch the sport to see non-black fighters lose. They watch the sport to see a black fighter lose. And this is why Whenever a black fighter, a top black fighter, do lose, them losing is the most celebrated by these non-black fans. Nobody's talking about Philip Herkovich getting beat up. Nobody's giving Daniel Dubois his credit. He wasn't even the favor. When this fight was signed, everybody was talking about how Philip Herkovich was going to beat Daniel Dubois. Even Philip Herkovich said that he was going to smash Daniel Dubois. But notice nobody's talking. Nobody's calling Philip Herkovich a hype job. They're calling Raymond Ford a hype job as I speak. Hell, I even checked for videos uh, seeing if they were calling Tim Zhu a hype job. You're not going to find one video. You're not going to find any videos from these non-black fans calling Tim Zhu a hype job but they're calling Raymond Ford a hype job as I speak. They're calling him a hype job. They call Errol Spence a hype job. They call every black fighter that takes their first loss a hype job. They sure do. Isn't it, isn't it crazy? Isn't it crazy how nobody's talking about Philip Herkovich getting beat by Daniel Dubois? Nobody's talking about that. that that's not even a shocker. It's it's like people done swept that under the rug. The same thing with Tim Zhu losing to Sebastian Vendora. Hell, when Tank Davis fought um, Isaac Pitbull Cruz on a short reach notice and Isaac Pitbull Cruz at least scratched Javante Davis, that was a trending topic. Javante Davis got exposed. He's a nobody. He, he got exposed because Isaac Pitbull Cruz at least scratched Javante Davis. He survived and he scratched Javante Davis. So Javante Davis got exposed as being a hype job because he let Pitbull Crew scratch him and survive. But Tim Zhu took a whole loss and nobody even cared. Nobody made videos calling Tim Zhu a hype job. Tim Zhu was running his mouth all up and down uh, Australia talking about how he was going to come over here and take over America how he was going to come over here and, and snatch all the belts that dude was running his mouth calling out Jamel Charlo being disrespectful but hey he can do that he can do that because he has the complexion for the protection and don't come at me talking about how can I compare Isaac Pitbull Cruz to Sebastian Vendor don't come at me with that bull crap because Sebastian Vendor before he fought Tim Zhu was coming off a knockout loss to Brian Mendoza. A knockout loss. A brutal knockout loss. Isaiah Pitbull Crew was on a winning streak. And I'm talking about a knockout winning streak before he fought Javante Davis. And so don't come at me with that crap. 